I am the project director for Ohio Consumers for Health Coverage. Yesterday's ruling makes a good day for Ohioans. It's a good day for seniors who have better access to affordable prescription drugs and can get preventive services without co-pays and deductibles. More than 2.1 million seniors in Ohio receive preventive services such as cancer screenings with no deductible or copay. It's a good day for young adults who can remain on their parents' health insurance policies. Over 90,000 Ohio young people have already benefited from that provision. It's a good day for families with insurance. The law requires that insurance companies spend at least 80% of your premium dollar on health care and, and now more than 3 million Ohio residents are going to see a rebate this year because their insurance company didn't meet that goal. <clears throat> and it's a good day for uninsured Ohioans because Relief is coming in 2014 when they will be able to afford health care purchased in the exchange. It's a good day for Ohioans who have rare illnesses that are expensive to treat because lifetime limits will no longer be a part of insurance policy. And it's a very good day for people with pre-existing medical conditions who have been frozen out of the private health insurance market. It's a good day because our fight for high quality health care is closer to reality. Many more Ohioans will be helped as the law is implemented fully in 2014. We call on Ohio's lawmakers, Governor Kasich and Insurance Commissioner Mary Taylor, to get to work to make sure that Ohioans have an Ohio exchange that works for them, that small businesses can pool their money together to find more affordable health care options for their employees, and that low income, uninsured Ohioans have coverage options they can afford. One way the Affordable Care Act is already helping Ohioans is through the high risk pool. And while insured now under the law, it was a struggle to get that coverage for two central Ohio women, and you're going to hear from them right now. So first, I'm going to ask Jenny Lynn to come and share her story with you. Today is a good day for me and my family. Joining me is my husband, Chris, and my son, Chase. And, and we are grateful for the Affordable Care Act and relieved by the Supreme Court ruling. My husband and I run a small business and pay out of pocket for our health insurance. In 2006, Chris was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. In 2008, at 38, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. In 2006, we were paying around $560 for our health insurance, and by 2010, we were paying just under $2,000 for 2080 coverage. This was an increase of about $350 a year. This burden created instability for my family and my business. We did shop around for insurance, but for people with, a, with chronic illnesses and pre-existing conditions, there is no place to shop. We were not even allowed in the marketplace. No other company would take us, and the insurance company that I had been with for 10 years wouldn't let me shop for products within its company. And they had them, but I wasn't allowed to participate. We were spending more than a quarter of our income on health insurance. These rising premiums 
forced us into a downward spiral of instability. We were making decisions between health care and our mortgage. And in the end, we were making decisions between health care and food. We made too much money to qualify for Medicaid, but not enough money to keep the pretty bad health coverage we had. And finally, and very tearfully, in November of 2010, I had to give up my health insurance. And that was the scariest six months of my life. If it wasn't for a program called the Ohio High Risk Pool, I wouldn't have health insurance today. And I'm so grateful to them. While I am breathing a sigh of relief, I know the work is not over. I want to continue to have the peace of mind that comes from having health insurance even though I'm a cancer survivor. Ohio's leaders must get to work to make sure this law is fully implemented for my family and countless other families who are in the same situation. Thank you. the story from Patty Tracy Brusso of how the law has impacted her family. I slept really good last night. <laughs> it is a, uh, a great day for all Ohioans and for people across the country. In 1996, I lost my job and I lost my health insurance. And I became ill and had to have a foot of my colon removed. That did not make me an insurable citizen. I, my husband and I started a small business in 1997, and after several years we were able to purchase a catastrophic plan for myself. The premium was $800, it was hospitalization only. And after a year, because they could, my rate doubled to $1,600. We were devastated, but I knew what it was to have an illness without insurance. So we started shopping around, and we spent $1,600 premium a month for four months while we applied and looked around. And finally, Everybody else that would cover us, would cover me, excuse me, would cover me for the same price. $1,600 was the going rate. With the Ohio High Risk Pool, we pay strictly based on our age, not any pre existing conditions that we have. Exactly. Uh, this is devastating to all families that have to go through an illness and lose everything they own. My husband's standing over there with my purse between his feet holding a sign. <laughs> and even though he has insurance because he qualifies for Medicare, when you have a family member uninsured, you're putting your whole family at risk. You're putting everybody's assets at risk, not just That's yours. Right. That's right. Last year, in 2011, I was diagnosed with sleep apnea. This is a fatal condition if untreated. I would have never been able to get a sleep study without the Affordable Care Act. In 2011, I had my Achilles separate and had to have it repaired. We would have been bankrupt after this procedure. Our assets would have been gone after this procedure let alone the knee replacement I had several months later. There would have been no physician to do that knee replacement on an uninsured person. And finally, to wind up the year, I had a gallbladder attack and had to have my gallbladder removed. I can't imagine where we would be today if it wasn't for the Affordable Care Act. We need to call on our governor, Mary Taylor, and all of our elected officials to get busy, to build it now. Yeah. Yeah. Build it now. Build it now. 